Let's go. Whoo! Damn! We're doing it. We're on 2 million. We are chip leading the tournament. Get it all in for two blinds here against Italian talent. Flavra Queen. Keep it clean. Sable. Take it out. This is a pretty nice hand, King 10 suited. Uh, against middle position, probably don't want to jam. We want to play. We want to jam some hands, but I like a little bit more Jack 10 and Queen 10 than King 10. Although you can fold out a hand like King Jack and King Queen when you go all in for effectively like 18 blinds here. So you can get some better hands to fold, but we're going to call. Uh, okay, we flop third pair to gutter. I wonder if our hand is worth bluffing at some point here. I think we should bluff here. Just represent King Queen, represent Ace Jack, represent Tens. Uh, our hand is probably not going to win a showdown when they check back flop. So we're just going to turn our pair and draw into a bluff here and go for Bet Bet. And try and get Ace King and Ace Queen to fold is what we're trying to do here. Ace Queen being the most likely hand, us having the King. Uh, and it's a really tough spot for them. You know, it's just like, what are we going to bluff here? We need to be bluffing our pairs, which would be nines and eights and fives and fours and threes and twos. We don't have those all the time, and if we do, do we bluff them at full frequency? Probably not. And then the next candidates are going to be King-10 and Queen-10. Over the King-9, they go all in for basically like uh, seven blinds here, so we're going to gamble with them. King-9 against threes, just a King or a nine. That's it. That's all we need, King or a nine for the print. No, up here, we're all in with fives. I thought it was out of time there, so I snapped it in, but we're flipping it up. Keep it low, very low. Be very low. Nice. Okay. Uh, listen, you have the greatest day. I hope you win, you know, about a dollar less than me. Happy 27th. It only gets worse from here. Have a good day. We're all with Ace Queen up here against Ace 10. We're just printing a storm up. If we can dodge the 10 ball. Y'all. That's a y'all from me. Let's go. Pocket Jacks is a big hand in this 320 Turbo. Registration is probably closed. No, six minutes left. It's paying 14. But we're in a great spot. They shove all in. So likely to have the best hand. When they shove for 20 blinds, they're almost always going to min-raise like queens, kings, aces, ace, king, ace, queen on 20 blinds. So it should be a small pair. We should be crushing here. We are indeed. Got to dodge one out. A few more outs now. It's good enough. So a very good position now. Looks like we're disconnected here as I raise up Ace King. Roll in. I just don't want to time out, so I'm going to snap it in there. Ace King, Ace King. Okay. Check by Queen 8. I don't think it's a hand we really need to bluff raise. It's kind of like middle... Middle of the pack kind of vibe. Uh, we're going to go for a bet here for value. And we get some protection here by betting as well. It's a little bit of both. Nine on the turn. Not a great card. Uh, a lot of the middling stuff that has like gutter type things is going to improve on that card. I think check check is the way. Jack also a pretty bad card. For the same reasons. I mean, we can still have the best hand for sure. They can have 6x. They can have a worse 8. They can have ace high. The flow to the flop wants to get to showdown. But uh, definitely would have chosen not the 9 and the jack to roll off if we could choose. We do beat ace 10 of hearts. So uh, very fortunate. We're up to 723 there. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. So we have aces. Here, which is pretty epic. Uh, we're going to squeeze. I have to act pretty quickly because I definitely don't want like an internet disconnect to time me out deep in this tournament. You know, we have no time bank in this turbo, so i going to act quickly. Good spot for the back raise, brutal. Who calls? Ooh. 
Are we going to lose to a king here? Maybe. <laughs> I like a checkback, probably. Um, yeah, I think checkback's pretty good. We're really not protecting from anything, right? Like queen jack could hit the gutter. Queen jack suited or something, but most of the time... Um, we can get all the money in when we want to get all the money in. We're not protecting from much of the bit 152. I don't think folding is possible for us here with aces. When we squeeze, they call. We go to this flop. Uh, we're not really worried about a nine either. It's just a king. Like, do they have king queen? Uh, they're probably chip leader ish at this table. So I think we should call down here their aces. Good luck. Yeah. That is what we would call an air ball. We are probably chip leader. Very good position here. I would put this in the salmon felt category. Open queen jack, we get a call here. This opponent has two blinds plus some change. We get an overcall here. Has less than pot. I think we're just gonna put it in here. Uh, we might be behind to one of these two, but like we've got enough equity at this point to get it in. They fold, we're against seven, six. No, no, do not. Let's go. Thank goodness, man. Uh, we call in the big blind with Jack-4 against the same player that went ham against us. King, King, Jack on the flop. And we're in a bit of a... It's it's awkward. Like, I think it's just a check raise, especially against this opponent. Uh, the bit 66,000. Yeah, I think we just check raise here. I don't think call makes any sense. We give them free cards when they want to. Um, so we're just going to fast play here. But they can definitely have a King or a better Jack. It's just like, do they have it enough of the time? We're up against a flush draw. Keep it clean on the river, Dottie. Come on, no blue for me and you. Let's go. Let's go. Do we just absolutely put the pressure on Cran Ran? I think so. I think we do here, actually. This is a slightly wide, just barely wide. You can get away with it sometimes. Queen Jack, we, we re-jam. It's really close here. Um, you slam dunk, re-jam, Queen Jack suited, but Queen Jack off suit. Typically just going to be a fold, I think. Uh, some call, some fold. Um, it's on the edge. We actually have such great equity here three ways, though. Such a good lineup. Just a queen or jack for the double knockout here. King gets it done, though. So sevens is out. We get knocked back down to 1.3 million as we lose a full 20 blinds there. All right, we're in the money. Red felt hype confirmed. Cash for four hundred eighty-three dollars. Uh, Jack Knight suited. Folds to us. We raise. If someone else raises, I think we fold, and that's fine. Nice. Do we want to bet call? Do we want to check back? I think check back is probably a good idea, actually. Uh, oh, that was a little crazy. Um, we don't want to bet and get jammed on, and then have to call off. It would be fine, but I think there's alternative lines where uh, we're going to be able to take the last action with aggression sometimes. It's better 133. Raising doesn't make any sense. I think we should call here and then bluff when they check the river, right? Uh, and or hit our hand. Look at our line. It looks so strong. We raise in the button. They call. We check, check at the flop. We call the turn. They have 264 left and there's 490 in the middle. Like, it looks like we've got the goods here, you know? It looks like we've got the goods. And if they have a good hand, they're going to go like, like, you know, they're not going to fold a king, right? But basically, we've told a very convincing story. We didn't make our flush. But I think they're definitely going to shut down on some bluffs there on the river. And then we're going to be able to bluff our jack high and tell a convincing story. Try and keep it in view. It's rolling with ace-eight here. Mind just mind. The one shorter stack, have ace-seven, call it off with the ace-seven ball. How about king-eight? If we're going to be greedy, how about you got king-eight here? King, queen. Okay. We don't love 60 40s in the spot, but we got to do it. Uh, sad vibes. Sad vibes. We're probably going to bubble this FT, unfortunately. You know, this is, this is a shared and equal experience from everyone in online poker. Keep it in perspective. Like, this is just how it works. Uh, so, yeah, that's my view. King, eight against queen, 10. Uh, dodge the straight here. Dodge the clubs here. Come on, let's go. To survive, dude. 731 to survive, chat. We're down to 10, and we might actually be able to sneak our way in here. 
because this is great double up potential. It basically put us tied for seventh if we can get the double up here. We're going to have to win it all in here, chat. Good luck with us uh, and the Jacks. 10 left, 755 cash. We got to dodge the king and the queen. Hate to flip here. Got to do it, though. That's a good spade on the turn. Come on, let's go. 1.2 million. Just like that, we are middle of the pack. I think we're in sixth place right now. Uh, king four suited on the button. I think we raise call, raise fold here is the play. I think it's strong enough to raise. Uh, we're obviously priced in against this six blind stack, but I want to raise fold to king mup mup. And I don't think jam is the right move here because we would risk our tournament life against mup mup which we don't want to do. They call. It's a beautiful flop. We probably have the best hand with king high right now anyways, but we pick up the heart draw to go along if they did flop an ace or a five. Okay. Holy smokes, dude. We are in this thing still. 1.4 million, beautiful hand. This would be a raise call for sure against bottle. Against king mup mup, it's really tough. Right, like ace 10 beats some hands that they could shove that are worse than us, like dominates a few of them. Uh, but it gets through them, thankfully, which is fine. So it would be a fold to domo alligato. It would be a call against bottle opener. And if we go post flop, we go post flop and that's fine. All right, we take it down 1.5 million. Uh, yeah, we're on. I don't think there's any other play other than all in here against the stack. You could limp to try and induce if we think they're aggressive players, but we're just going to jam with so much garbage here. I think we want to include the kings in that range. Okay. We take that down. We have sixes now, and we're all in again because we are up against a eight blind stack and a three blind stack with a pair. So that's pretty good. Bottle opener, probably going to call off here, right? Three blinds. Six is jack nine. Okay, they got a flip for it. That's a six, though. 98%. We get it done on the turn. All right. Uh, if they go all in, we have to call, I think, for six blinds. Uh, would not be happy, but they're going to have any two Broadway here-ish, probably. Probably not like jack 10, but like, you know, king, queen, and king jack, and queen jack, and all that is going in. We're going to chop sometimes. We're going to have 30% equity against sevens. But they fold, so it's against Domo Aligato, Mr. Roboto. Good, good flop for the big blind, typically. It's not really here in that they're going to fold tighter than they would typically because of the final table bubble. Uh, but I think check check is good with our ace four. I think it's a really good hand to check check. We make a straight in the turn, which is so nice. So how do we make a Damani here? If they big bet, we call. If they small bet, we raise probably, but they check. So we're just going to go about half pot here. We bet on the turn, we take it down. Okay, we're on 2.6 million. Good. Pow! Final table hype of this $320 turbo. Coming into the final table, three of nine. Make that actually four of seven. We've had some multiple bust outs. So we're guaranteed $1,789. First place in the tournament is actually $10,000. Here's a quick snapshot of the prize pool. Uh, King Queen suited. It's a very pretty hand. I think it's a hand that we probably want to jam here. I don't think we want to raise fold King Queen suited specifically. Uh, so I think it's an all in against these two stacks, which often you do a lot of min raising here actually, but not with this hand, I would say. Very important pot here. We do not want to see a call. That would be a disaster for our chances in this tournament, but they both fold. We take it down 2.27 million and very happy. Ace, queen, ace, jack, all in here. I think we want the ace, jack to win so that we can get the ladder. We don't want to chop. We want carnage either way. There it is, dude. We're down to six. Carnage, mup, mup is out. Six remaining in the tournament. We're basically, we're, we're sole fourth here. As we pick up kings, let's get our own little raise in here. And I don't mind if any single one of you wants to go all in. I'm happy to play. Don't aligato, it's the time. Ship it in there, Dottie. How about you? Yoof! Get it in there, yoof! Get it in there, yoof! They do. We call. Even if uh, Gru called, we would have called. All right. This is, this is so huge. This is for 4 million chips to be basically tied for the lead here. Oh, we run so bad. It's so sick. We are... Uh, 
Right of the tournament in sixth place. Uh, we cash for 2386.